Right now, we're meeting some very talented artists like Rhiannon. Hi. Now, you're in year 12 right now, but you worked on this last year. Yes, that's right. Yep. Can you tell us the inspiration behind your work? Yep, so last year we were doing a theme about our favourite place, and I, I didn't really do a place, I did a time, and it was 1960s slash 70s. And as you can see here, I did some combis and like a Woodstock concert and just kind of took my inspiration from yeah pictures and the internet and just yeah it's supposed to be like a happy place. It is a happy place I absolutely love it this one's definitely my favorite I just want to go there <laughs> I want to be there right now there's snow outside in the summertime paradise looks absolutely perfect we well, are very talented so thank, thank, thank you so you. much. I tell you what there are some very talented students in this class it puts my finger painting to shame look at this Joe, so this is your work here? Yes, last year's. Last year's work. Now, I take it that you're right into your superheroes. Mm -hmm, yeah. Who's your favourite superhero? Um, probably the Hulk. And what, and what do you like about the Hulk? Um, I like that he's actually, he's not just mindless and <laughs> people <laughs> and take him for that. I've noticed that you've got the Hulk here, he's down here as well, anywhere else? Um, no. I'm liking that you've got a bit of Batman in there. Now, how did you go with your artwork here? What mark did you get? I got an excellence. Oh my gosh, stop it. She got an excellence. I got achieved in my one, but we don't even talk about that one. Eve, I hear you've got somebody else over there. Yes, Juliana and I have something in common and it's not our artistic ability because I have none of that. But we're both procrastinators. I was very impressed to hear that you did this in an hour. Yes, I had to, the, the due date was coming and I realised everything was done except from that one so I had to quickly whip it up and stick it on there. But the rest kind of flow quite nicely because these first it started with just, you know, realism and teapots but then it carried on to reflection, pattern, tinfoil portraits and it came like we did some photoshop with some distortion and then it is, this final piece was just a combination of everything coming in into one picture. Very talented. You're amazing. If ever I need something, if I've got something due in an hour, I'll just call you up. I love how you just whipped this up. <laughs> I'll probably cry with them. <laughs> it's amazing. Another excellent student over here, Amy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Now, I'm loving your portfolio here because you've got Doctor Who here. How do you manage to add Doctor Who into this? Well, because we started off with the theme and we had to find a subject matter to do our first drawings at the beginning of the year. And so I found an old clock that my mum had and started that in my first sketch and then brought that in in my photography. And then later, because I knew I wanted to do Doctor Who, I um, found pictures on the internet and worked that through with my paintings. And, it, um, and you're saying it all comes down to the time travel? Yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. Nice. Well, you've done such a great job here, and congratulations. Thank and you. Uh, we've been having a great time here at Oxford Area School. <laughs> Please, hurry up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No. Ah, Eva, you've been pushing. No. Why is it so oh, Keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh,